Talking to stones in Striama, Bulgaria. Visiting a new pyramid is like listening to a radio station. You never know what to expect. Striama is one of the smaller pyramids. And yet, the stones are full of surprises. There are many interesting features that help us answer the key question as to why the pyramids were built. Together, we can discover why the Striama pyramid was built by listening to its position and location as well as the shape and composition of its stones. The pyramid of Striama has a circular base which is 450 meters in diameter. It is only 44 meters high from base to summit. It stands at 260 meters elevation, which is similar to the pyramids of Plovdiv. The gradient on the north side is steeper, 24%. The south side has a more gentle slope of around 10%. On the south side, which is not covered by foliage, you can see at least five levels, plus the summit. The Striama pyramid is not the loudest voice in the chorus, and yet its contribution seems crucial. By its location, it plays a central role in bringing together the cacophony of all the other regional sites. You can see from the density of yellow dots on the map that the entire region of the Middle Mountain is megalithic. This is not even a complete list. There are many more sites to discover. The Striama Pyramid is a great example of how megalithic sites are connected in a grid. It is not built independently as a one-off. Its role can be deciphered from the connection between the network of sites. The middle mountain includes sites like Rozovets, which is precisely due east at 90 degrees and 20 kilometers away, the double pyramid of Banya, 8 kilometers, and Hisaria, 9 kilometers. And there are more megalithic sites in the vicinity. Understanding the pattern between these sites will help us understand their function and answer the question as to why they were built. We will finally hear the melody and understand the message. The distance, direction and elevation are the main characteristics we have to take into account to put together this giant multidimensional puzzle. And just like music, the melody can be deciphered with numbers. There is a straight diagonal line northwest to southeast at 135 degrees that joins the double summits of Pesnopoi and that of Striama. There is bound to be a connection here. Such big structures would not be built with such specific cardinal alignments without a reason. The blue line that passes between Pesnopoi and the two other megalithic sites is proportionally similar to the alignment of the Giza pyramids and Orion's belt. The distances are proportionally the same and so too is the alignment of the three points. There are many dots to be linked and patterns to be recognized for us to decipher the message and hear the music. The pink line connecting Striama and two other local pyramidal formations reminds us again of Orion's belt and the angle to Orion's nebula. Maybe you too can find new connections. All this data is freely available as part of the Bulgaria Pyramid Project. What we can already hear now is that Striama is a node in the network of megalithic sites in the Middle Mountain region. It binds together the other pyramidal formations. The real question is, exactly what are the stars and planetary bodies in the sky that are represented in these monumental structures on Earth?
And what does this mirror image of the cosmic order tell us about the layout of the heavens above? When we listen carefully to the stones, we notice that they were molded like putty. It feels that they were melted into shape. It is similar to what has been called in Peru the Hanan Pasha period, which is the earliest period of megalithic building at Machu Picchu. In Striama, the oldest style of stone is found at the bottom of the pyramid. Most fascinating is the discovery of drill holes. They are identical to those found at the double pyramid of Banya. The stone seems to have been molded on a skewer around the drill hole, just like you would melt a marshmallow on a stick. And there are suture marks in the stone that remind us how glass is pressed into shape. We found similar ones at other sites like Rosovets and Banya. This is a completely different building technique from the rectangular chiseled blocks found at the Giza pyramids. It is similar to the type of technique and stone found at Rosovets. This technique is a reflection of an earlier form of consciousness. Just like the Stone Age and Iron Age represented different stages of human evolution, this molten technique represents an epoch and a different form of consciousness. Humanity had a different relationship to the earthly and cosmic realms. At this time, humans did not have the self-awareness to chip, chisel and break nature to fit to its square understanding of the universe. They did not have the individuality we attribute to ourselves today. This was an epoch when humans were just an extension of the cosmic order. I will discuss this in more detail in the video on the dating of these megalithic sites. As we listen closely to how the stones are made, we notice that the stone most commonly found at Striama seems to be a granite cement mix with pieces of quartz. Some stones are inlaid with quartz blocks like a sandwich. It is very similar to other local sites like Sokolica, Banya and Rosovets. There is a stone with a diagonal quartz line similar to those standing at Banya and Sokolica, but in this case it is lying down sideways. The diagonal line reminds us of the processional tilt of the Earth, as well as the angle of the Orion Nebula in relation to Orion's belt. The Orion Nebula is where stars are born. Even more interesting are the lines of quartz in the ground aligned at right angles. This cross formation is located at the base of the pyramid, which can mean that there is an underlying structure of quartz lines, like a grid beneath the pyramid, that can conduct energy. At the summit, we found that grave robbers had tried to burrow their way through the top of the pyramid. Maybe it had been used at a later date for Thracian burials, which is common in Bulgaria. The stone and soil that had been removed was a mix of quartz cement mix, quartz pieces, as well as a piece of some kind of flat and polished pottery or human-made artifact. The stones of Striama tell us about their purpose. The drill holes tell us that the stones were produced with a specific intention. The quartz that we find in both the cement mix and inlaid as blocks points to the fact that the pyramid had an energetic function. We found the same conclusion in Rosovets. It was most probably used to transfer energy between Earth and the cosmos. The Pyramid of Striama tells us how megalithic sites are part of a network like the pieces of an engine. 
even the smaller pieces are necessary for the engine to function. The Bulgaria Pyramid project is like reverse engineering a jet engine when we have never seen a plane fly. We have to imagine what might have been. The alignment of the Striama Pyramid with other local sites that together form patterns similar to those of constellations such as Orion reveals to us how mirroring the cosmic order attracts and reproduces the energy of the universe on Earth. Striama is just one part of a mirror that acts as a portal to transfer energy between the cosmos and Earth. In Rosovets, the stones tell us a similar story, and I invite you to watch the video for a more in-depth analysis.